I grew up watching my dad compete in shooting competitions and bring home big trophies. His firm dedication was an exhibition of pinpoint accuracy, with each shot carrying the weight of calculated aims. Stand by. As a child, I found great delight in assuming the role of the strong protagonist, or in Filipino, Vida, armed with nothing but a fake gun for kids and an unwavering sense of imagination and adventure. I admired my father's ability so much that I tried to imitate his every action and stance, from his determined kneeling stance to his daring lying down positions. I would even use his trophies to pretend like I won Miss Universe. Now that I am of the right age, I decided to learn how to use a real gun. Of course, supervised by a licensed and knowledgeable person with the intention of learning how to use one for self-defense. My journey began with a cherished mentor, none other than my own father. Our lessons started with the basic concepts, covering the proper way of carrying a firearm from the proper grip that ensures stability and control to the basic rules governing the proper handling of such a powerful instrument. Rule number one, eh, titreat mo yung barrel as loaded lagi. Pag ginahawakan mo, hindi mo pwedeng ipoin sa tao. And so, under his watchful eye, I learned the art of shooting, the intricacies of properly aiming, controlling my breath, and firing precisely. Well, not exactly. At least, not yet. Hindi pa ako gaano kagaling katulad ng tatay ko. We are now on the road to Jethro's shooting range. While waiting for a small gun to be available, I looked around. The terrifying bang of the gun startled me as we went up the stairs to the actual shooting range. Even though I expected the loud noise, I was still frightened. I was feeling excitement and fear, but excitement outweighed fear in my mind. I mean, it wasn't fear per se, but rather kaba. The gun I used was the gun we rented from the range. It was tiny enough that I could hold it comfortably in one hand. Truth be told, I didn't think I'd hit the A on my first shot, but hitting it gave me the boost of confidence I needed to have fun for the rest of our time at the range. Time to try my dad's shooting competition gun. Ito ako kinabahan in a good way. Even though it was bulkier and heavier, I found myself liking this model more because of the red dot. It helps me aim better, but the only downside for me was that the recoil was more intense, so during my first few times of using this gun, my dad had to hold me at the back.
Siyempre, napagod din ako, so here's my dad shooting. I went back to the first gun I used here, pero tinamaan ako ng basyo ng bala sa ulo. Not once, but twice. This became a fun way for me and my dad to spend time together, and that made it so much more enjoyable for me. I felt happy that I enjoyed his hobby as well. I am so excited for my second time. Pares lang. Kaya lang doon, ano, maluwag ka, hindi tulad doon naman o sobrang ingay. Feeling ko mas okay na indoor yung first time ko. Sa Para outdoor mas kasi, maliit kailangan yung... mo ng ano, kailangan mo ng yung holster. Ah, kasi walang patungan? Walang patungan. Yung patungan doon, sa likod, malayo. So, kailangan mo ng holster habang naglalakad ka papunta sa ano. Nung ano, Pagkakas ako ng kotse, hindi pa ako naiihi eh. Meron ng pocket tayo. Biglang, ano, naghanap na ako ng banyo. Kasi kinakabahan ka. Kinakabahan ako. Lalo nung pagpasok, alakas ng puto. Mm. Yung katabi natin. Natakot ako dun eh. Akala ko, oh my gosh, hindi ako mag-i-enjoy. Hindi na, na ako na-bother eh, nung after that. Diba, mas madali ka lang ng 45 ma. Kaya lang matig mabigat. Hindi eh. naman, mas gusto ko yung 45. Kaya ngayon ang... Kasi yung red, oh. mas madali siyang i-aim for oh, me. Yeah. Kaya nga, yun ang ano, diba? Yun yung pag-competition eh. Ah, talaga? Oo. Nakagamit ka na pang competition. Excited na ako sa second time ko. Sama daw si Mami. Sabi niya. Talaga? Mm, sir, is Mami, magaling po mo si Mami. Wala, gusto ko makita tuloy. Mm, magaling po mo si Mami. Kala mo lang pag tumayo, yung, yung ano niya kasi, yung stance niya, yung tayo niya, parang hindi tatama. Yung tayo niya. Kamusta yung stance ko? Okay naman, maganda nga stance mo. Si Mami, pang tayo niya parang hindi tatama. Pero pag kinalabit niya na... Gato ko mag-flurry, may dive through ba dyan? Meron. From Call of Duty, naranasan ko na in real life. Pero bano ako mag-aim sa Call of Duty? Laging tumataas yung... Laging putok sky yung baril ko. Sa susunod, ano, mag-practice ka ng ano, dalawa. Pakpak! Ah, yun, sunod? Ah, ganyan ginawa ko nung huli. Nabidyohan ko yun eh. Nabidyohan mo yun. Yan, ganun. Pak, pak. Kukutakot yun. Kalabit lang yun. Mabilis lang nakalabit. Pak, pak. Tapos, finger out. Ganun practice lang yun eh. Pak, pak. Nung una, di ba, nung nagpa-practice tayo sa bahay, nahihirapan akong kalabitin na ganun. Kasi, wala sa. Kasa. Pero nung nandun na, parang yun yung pinakamadali for me. Para yes. Kasi maliit yung baril. Ah, kayong sa bahay yung pinak pero practice mas malaki. Sabi ni Ate, libre ka naman. Ah, oh, sa iyo mag-flurry. Libre natin siya. Ikaw man din libre lang din ng ID sa kapera. Meron na. Puti na lang tinuruan mo ako before. Kaya nga ganoon dapat. Kasi mas ano eh parang mas na nakakatiwala ako sa sarili ko na kaya ko. Hmm. Hindi ako dependent sa iba. We are now at McDo kasi sabi ni Ate, libre ko daw sila. 
kasi magaling daw. Pero walang pera ngayon. So, libre ni daddy. Utang. <laughs> Utang. 600. Ayan. 